Hello, my name is Riley Yesno. I am a student at the University of Toronto. I'm from Yamatung First Nation in Northern Ontario and grew up in Thunder Bay. And in my free time, I'm a freelance writer and an Indigenous rights advocate. Uh, when I was 17 years old, um, I was a high school student in Thunder Bay and I got an email telling me that I had been appointed to the Prime Minister's Youth Council. And so in like what felt like overnight, I went from, you know, student council to sitting at a table with the Prime Minister. And that opened up from there um, a world of things that I never really ever imagined I would be doing. Uh, the Prime Minister's Youth Council and the opportunities that came after that took me all over the world. It took me to meet amazing young people, leaders in their communities um, all across Canada. And it has been a really amazing, beautiful three-year journey. Um, but in the middle of all of that as well, what you know is crazy about it is that on social media, on camera, and in a lot of these things, it looked like um, I was doing really well. Um, and in some ways I was, but this was also a big transition in my life where I was going from Thunder Bay to Toronto to go to school and you know, traveling all the time and I left behind um, my community, I left behind my family, and I was feeling really alone. And so when I moved to Toronto, um, I was really struggling uh, with a lot of feelings of depression and anxiety. Um, and so what helped me through all of that though um, was realizing that I had placed all of these sort of expectations on myself, um, that I felt like everything that I was feeling was really burdensome and that I had to, you know, keep saying yes to everything, that I had to, you know, be better and that uh, there was all of these things that um, just simply weren't true. And that was actually making, you know, it really harder to succeed and to show up and do all those things in a good way. And so learning to listen to myself, to honor how I felt and what I needed, um, and then being okay with saying no, uh, made a world of difference for me. And so if I could give a message to anybody else who's feeling something similar to that, those feelings of loneliness, depression, anxiety, um, I would say that one of the cruelest things when you're struggling with your mental health is that it makes you feel like you are alone, that you're a burden, that nobody understands and nobody else has felt this way before. And all of those things are just simply not true. And so what I would say is to find the courage within yourself, find the bravery to be honest and to speak. And I think you will start to feel those feelings of, you know, hopelessness, worthlessness, um, all of those negative feelings slowly begin to fade away. They'll get easier. And that's what I'd like to say.